Tucker Carlson last night finally put out his first statement after being fired by Fox News. First, he was photographed. I mean, I got to say, Tucker's very good at this. And yesterday, Tucker was photographed. He was kind of jetting around Boca Grande, which is in uh, the other side of Florida from, from where I where I am in South Florida. And uh, he was jetting around with his wife laughing, which uh, is, you know, very Tucker and very typical and showing that he's not been broken by his firing. Now, Tucker put out a statement yesterday, like a spoken statement. Uh, here he was talking. Honest people say what's true calmly and without embarrassment. They become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. Hey, see, see, see you soon, obviously, is a, is a threat to uh, many of the people who, uh, who fired Tucker in the first place. But the reason for Tucker's popularity now is the same as the reason for Trump's popularity back in 2016, which is he is not presumably going to let anybody prevent him from saying the things that he thinks are true, even if they are, quote unquote, corporate interests. Right? This is his, this is Tucker's pitch. This is his entire pitch. The reason for the, the the sort of durable popularity of Tucker versus some other people who you know have sort of fallen out of the public view 